Hey everybody, so I am actually here for my 26 week pregnancy update. I know I just did an update last week and I have only been doing them about every five weeks. But because I am done school, I figured why not start doing them weekly if that's something that you guys are interested in, if I have stuff to update on. This past week I do have a little bit to update on. And it's kind of cool because I've never experienced it with my other pregnancies, but we'll get into that in a minute. So one exciting thing is that we only have 99 days until the due date. Not necessarily until we meet the baby because, like you guys know with Adeline, I went basically two weeks overdue. So there's really no saying when we're going to meet the baby, but 99 days until my due date. So we are in double digits, which is super exciting. I also wanted to let you guys know that I do have an Instagram and I will put it somewhere over here and you guys can go and grab that handle and start following me there because that is where I'm going to be probably posting to my story when we I do go into labor and also where I'll be posting the very first pictures that you guys will see of the baby before I get up a video or anything like that. So if you guys want to go ahead and follow me there as the due date gets closer, that way you guys are up to date. And I also post there when I'm posting a new video or what I'm filming. The baby is definitely getting bigger. I feel a lot bigger and I also feel a little bit lower. And I know I've mentioned that before, but I have been noticing it more in pictures and different angles. I do feel a little bit lower, but I'm still having trouble breathing. And I also experienced something this past week, which it's happened one time before, and I ended up going to the ER for it, but they came to the conclusion that it was just a migraine. My vision went really, really weird, and then my arm went numb, and my half my face, or my mouth, went numb. So my dad and I went to the ER together. It was actually two years ago, and I thought I was having a stroke, but obviously I didn't. And they kind of came to the conclusion that I just had a really bad migraine. But I didn't necessarily have a headache from it, and that actually happened this week again. I was familiar with it, so I'm going to talk to my midwife about it, and the doctor said that it could happen again, but once again, I thought I was having either a stroke or a heart attack because my left arm did go numb, and I was talking like, hey, just in case, this is what's going on, so if I wake you up or whatever, we're probably going to need to go to the ER, but nothing changed, and I was looking up the symptoms and everything, and it was, in fact, another migraine. I did have a slight headache afterwards. I don't think that it has anything to do with the pregnancy. I think it's just something that is happening to me now because it did happen two years ago. Let me know down below. I don't know if you're supposed to get migraines more frequently, but it hasn't happened in probably two years. One thing that I haven't experienced before, or I may have, but I just didn't realize it, is baby hiccups. And for the first time, I experienced baby hiccups. And it happened this past week. And at first I thought it was just kicking. So I was like, oh, Bella, you know, feel the baby kick. And she loved it. She felt like the hiccup, but we thought it was the kicking. And then it was like rhythmic and it was the baby hiccuping. And it went on for probably like three minutes. That was super, super exciting because I've never felt that before. I've never actually been able to recognize when the baby is having hiccups, but I did feel it lower. So I think the baby is head down. I've been feeling a lot better emotion wise. I was having a rougher beginning of the pregnancy up until probably a few weeks ago. I was super, super hormonal and I thought that I was actually depressed because I've never been hormonal in any of my last pregnancies. That's never been something that I experienced. So I just figured that, you know, the crying and everything was depression. And I actually talked to my midwife about it and she was like, nope, it's totally normal. You're just hormonal, like you're pregnant. That's what it is. If you can't get out of bed or, you know, you're having trouble functioning throughout the day, that is like, it's called pre prenatal depression, I think she said, but that is not what was happening. I was just hormonal, I guess, and I never, sorry, I have wicked bad hiccups. I've never experienced that with either Bella or Adeline. I didn't understand why people would cry randomly or things like that, you know, that they would just act hormonal, basically. I've never had hormonal periods and I've never just been hormonal, but... Apparently I was hormonal, but she said that it should subside, and it has subsided. I feel really, really good. I also don't feel as tired. I was falling asleep in Bella's bed up until probably a few days ago, and I just feel like I have a lot more energy now, which is kind of strange because I am 26 weeks pregnant. We have 14 weeks left, so I feel like I'm just about... Actually, I think I'm starting the third trimester, right? Because it's 13 weeks, 13 weeks... And I actually have more energy, which is kind of weird because I feel like your energy 
should drop and it probably will especially taking care of Adeline and Bella and then with it being summer the warm weather has started and it is yucky right now it's muggy out so I'm just trying to dress light especially having to go into August I know I'm going to be miserable going into July well basically July it was the end of June with Adeline those last few weeks I was miserable but I was also two weeks overdue so we'll see how this summer goes that is all for today's video don't forget to subscribe if you guys are interested in seeing more updates and everything like that also follow me on Instagram so that you guys can see when the baby is born and follow along when I go into labor and everything I will leave the link here again belly buttons out <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys